we came across Bogabri and brought some country back here to educate the children. That would have been oh, 30 odd years ago. We run a couple of thousand ewes in conjunction with our farming. I'm not a summer cropper. My sheep um, balance that out. So I'm being just concentrated on winter crop. We just grow canola and wheat and, and malt barley. The opportunity came for me where through a tendering process, I was um, fortunate to acquire a lease on Whitehaven's country there. It was, was around about 3,000 acres of good balance of dirt. Um, the improvements were okay. The water infrastructure and fencing needed modernising. And that's where my relationship began. We've been there for four years and then I got a phone call to say that um, um, Keith, we're, we're going to audit uh, our leasees. They looked at the farm, what you were doing, they asked you how you were running the farm and um, how things were going. But like eight months later after they did these reviews and looked at every individual farmer, I, I got a call from the agent and he said, what home and town conversate you for the, um, putting the solar pumps in and the tanks and uh, the gateways. Like after that audit, that was the best thing ever happened. They've got concerns for the land and they're, they're helping me as a leasee. I'm on their land, looking after the land, and that's what they want. At my age, it's all about the community and yeah, mining and farming working together. It's, I've got no issues with it. I know people have, but um, like I'm seeing both sides of it. As far as I'm going, like the mines are in the, they're in the right place. They're there where we couldn't farm anyway. Um, they're just in the hills and, and, and they're, 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 not, they're not on the alluvial plains.